we understand exactly what this country is up against on every single day of our life. From the day of 2011, on that day, from here on in, we are always on our guard. We're always here to say thank you to our military, protect our veterans, and the ones that come back that are wounded, that need attention, whether it's in the veterans hospital, whether it's in the state, we need to protect them. We need to respect them. And this cause today brings it forward and it will always bring it forward every year on. You can't turn on the news nowadays without seeing that America is in decline or you can't, you know, read an article without saying that, you know, we're falling back in times and, and you know, you, you always see the how the VA doesn't keep up and doesn't um, deal with the veterans and in certain ways and they're not up to speed yet and they're not getting the job done. So it's, it's easy to see that, it's easy to get frustrated with that and kind of back away and say, well, you know, you're not getting help here and here that's the way it's going to be everywhere and that's not the truth you know even the smallest organizations can help probably more so than the biggest ones uh, this this organization is relatively small but they give 97 percent on every dollar to back to the the, the veterans and, and that's what that goes to help so if I was going to give any advice to a, a veteran that was kind of frustrated with the system and, and kind of you know uh, aggravated with the things, the way things are going, just don't give up. That the smallest, uh, the smallest organizations are usually the ones that can really help out the most. Uh, my name is Peggy Baker. I'm the founder of Operation First Response. My friend actually called me and in the end of 2003 and told me that her son was injured and had lost his leg. So I went into Walter Reed to visit them and found what I was going to be doing the rest of my life. It's important to realize that these men, these heroes, when they come to you, it's hard enough to ask for help. So by the time they get to you, they're not planning their budget for the following year. They're looking for money that was due two months ago. So good chances they're in the process of losing their home at the time or having their car repoed or probably have utility shut off by the time they reach out to us so we can't delay. It feels good to know that um, all the sacrifice and uh, all the heartache and, and uh, the missed time with my kids and my wife and everything the struggle uh, that it's appreciated and it's recognized by others who didn't necessarily experience it themselves. So I thank you for joining us as we stand in the midst of patriots and their families and the friends of those who have nobly served. Let us today and every day remember their achievements, dedication, courage, and sacrifices. Operation First Response has been going strong for nearly 12 years and our team spans across the nation. Our accomplishments have been made because of people like you on days like today. Every difference, every glimpse of hope has been made possible because good people came together to honor America's finest exactly as we, we are doing today. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for the lives that you have touched. I was really struggling with my only my pay to cover all the expenses. So, uh, so that's when I met Peggy. She offered me the help, and she told me not to worry about anything, just to to worry about healing. And and she helped me out, not just financially, but emotionally also. Just like with anybody, you know, when you're like struggling, um, you always look to someone to help you out. You know, someone really close or just anything. So, just talking with anybody and being comfortable with someone is a lot, you know, when you're actually having issues and I know I can do that anytime with this organization and the people within the organization. And you, and you never see that in other nonprofits. You know, it's usually like, here's your help and we'll see you around. You know, where, where OFR, it's constant. It, it's literally like being adopted into another family. He's always checking in to see how I'm doing. Um, he's always asking about the kids. He's really involved. He's, he's a part of our lives now. 
you know, this is a family. And uh, when I first got here a couple of years ago, um, Peggy's husband, uh, he told me, he was like, you, you know, he's like, you're part of the family now. He's like, whether you like it or not, you can't divorce us. They've done a lot to help out with me and other people, um, other veterans and their families. It's nice to have somewhere else besides where you grew up that feels like home. They would offer any services they could help out with uh, possible, uh, even from your mortgage to your bills to just getting a ride home. It's organizations like OFR that reach out and have an impact on, on, on our lives. We will never forget what it means to be free and what it takes to maintain that freedom. We thank him for his service and dedication and the sacrifice he and his family have made on behalf of our community, our country, and our freedom. He is a shining example of what being a hero really means. Jesse Hartnett! I got my freedom. I never served in the military. I never left my family. I was always home in my bed with my wife and my kids safe in the other room. I was able to earn a good living all my life. And it's directly because of what brave men and women do by signing up and going out and fighting for our country to keep our freedom safe. So I have, I have a lot to be thankful for, and it is because of that. There's, there's giving and then there's caring, and that's what, that's what Nick and this organization is. They are both, they, they, they give and they care. It's the volunteers that put forward to leave their families and to go and do what they believe in, to protect what our Constitution says each and every day of our life. So I couldn't be more proud to stand up here and say to each and every one of you, thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you.